Yes, yeah, sir. Big Stewie checking in, man. Trap house, trap house, man. Trap not trap house. You know what's going on. Um, I got my brother checking in. One of my favorite new and up-and-coming rappers. I don't want to say he new, because he's been out in the scene for a long time. I just feel like he's really taking it serious now. Yeah, <laughs> Little sure. in the building, man. I've been doing it for a minute now. I know that. It's been like two years now. I know, but now I just feel like you put pressure in it. At first, I was like, what you doing? You was like, nothing. Just chilling. Yeah. Just real laid back. So what made you put the, put, put the you know what I'm saying, put some gas on it? I mean, sh- ain't nothing else to do. <laughs> 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 but but it's ball over these niggas, you know. You and you you didn't got like I can definitely salute to you because you when I first met you, it was kind of wild. Yeah, you didn't calm down will, a little bit. Yeah. You got matured a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I, Tell yeah. me that process. I'm, I'm 28 now. Okay, I mean, it's grow. You got to you know grow up. Can't be just on no young nigga shit. You yeah, because oh, I'm yeah, fuck for it. Show. Yeah. I, well, I can't be on no young nigga shit no yeah. more. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So where are you originally from? For people that don't know, what part of Atlanta? What I'm, part of Georgia? I'm from Southeast. I'm some of y'all, born in some of y'all, zone three to be exact. But my second hood, you know, Glenwood. Okay. That's over there in Decatur. My right. dad and them. The deck. They from, yeah, the deck. Yeah, my dad and them from McAfee. Okay. And, whoa. Yeah, Bob Lane. Whoa, whoa, from Glenwood. Uh oh. G Block. Okay. G Block, baby. Yo, gay now. Yeah, Drake okay, now. So, what was it like growing up over there? Like, what was that like? Um, Both same. Both rough. Both same type of environment. Same thing. But it more kind of a little bit more harder on the east side. It looked gooder on mm-hmm. the east side, but it's a little bit more harder. So, so how how did you how did you prevail? Like, how did you get through like growing up in the tough times? You know what I mean? Because we we lose so many young cats to the streets yeah. and just wilding out, crashing out. You know what I'm saying? If folk crashing out now, they got money. That's rappers is crashing out. You know what I'm saying? How did you get through it? Like, what made you focus and lock in? It's it be more like your surroundings. I got I got the. Good people that surround around me, like, mm. like as, as they mature and and they got growth in them, and they just keep your environment just like with good energy and be on some positive shit sometimes mm-hmm. and grow up. I think it be be more of that. Like, I think that what got me this far. Like my partners, like mm. be real, like my dogs. Even just watching, you know what I'm saying, being with Savage. Like, I seen we done did some. Young dumb shit. Over there, <laughs> it's I part seen, of it. I done seen niggas real there. Like we ain't had no daddy figures or no uncle. Like we just we you know we had to grow in each other. Like as some youngest, and I think my surroundings what got me this far. Like me and my dog. So you say, my, my so, so how is it growing up as a young cat? Because I, I, we argue about this all the time, you know what I'm saying? We're just about the older heads that's in Atlanta. I always tell them like we got a lot of young cats that's growing up with no father figures, and y'all expect them to know something that they don't know. How you know something if ain't nobody teaching? So how was that like just depending on somebody that's your age and, and your age group to damn near be father figures for each other? Like you learn some, you teach somebody else. It's like I think it's a right or wrong. I think it's a right or wrong thing. Like it's it common sense. Like some shit be just common sense. Like, you know what right and you know what's wrong. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know I I, I can't explain it, right. but. <laughs> You just know what's right and you know what's wrong. Right. Shit, so like. tell me this. Do you feel like just the effect of you not having a father figure in your life, do you think that would have changed your life? See, I don't want to say it like that. My daddy passed away. Okay, rest in peace. So I don't, my daddy, okay, he so, would have been there. Okay, so growing up without him because he passed away. I'm glad you corrected that because you know you got a lot of cats that ain't even got no daddy. Like, they daddy here. Right. It ain't doing nothing. Right. So how did that affect you with him passing? Like, And you have to pretty much man up. Mm, it, you know. You get a certain age, I think. It hit harder when I got older. Like mm. when I was young, it was like oh, you young, you ain't really too much thinking about right. shit. But when you got older to like eighteen, nineteen, you get to like asking yourself like, would I be in jail? Like, cause I, you know, I I ain't get to see my teen year. Right. I was in I was in juvenile for three years. So it been times I was just sitting in there like, damn, would I be in here if he was here? Right. Or would I would I would I would have got shot if he was here? Right. It's a lot of shit I be questioning myself when, you know what I'm saying, we passed away. So I don't like but I just had to thug it out on my own. Just me and my dogs. Like, right. I had to thug it out and just learn on my own. So so that sounds like he was definitely like a big part of your life. What would you tell some of these cats I heard that ain't taking care of their kids? Because I salute like Savage. I salute these young cats as actually being father figures in their kids' lives. Like what would you tell some of these young cats about? I mean, just dudes. I wouldn't even say young because you got cats that's my age, that's 40, that still ain't taking care of their kids. Like how important is that for a black man to be in a young black man's life? Um, Like. 
Because that, you know, that shit, that shit deep. Right. Facts. That, that ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, we can come back to that. No, 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 no. I want to be a, for niggas who just on that type of time, like, just, bro, that shit going to hurt you. Like, in you take end. that to the grave, that shit going to hurt you. That mm. shit going to hurt you. Because it's like, damn, your kids, bro, them, yo, them you. Mm. Them your babies, like, them you. For the niggas who just don't want to do it, bro, like, <laughs> you find a way to do it, bro, like. Make it happen. Because them kids going to get older and that shit going to fuck you up. Man. No matter if you thinking about it, why, why you at a certain age, or if you 40 or 30, 50 or whatever, you just sad. I don't know. Bro, sad that's enough. I think that's enough for just yeah, for you to, you know what I'm saying, let them folk know that, though. Because, like, when I look at my kids, bro, all my kids, I'm about, I look like my daughters, my oldest is a girl, look just like me and my two boys. Like, I, ain't no denying them. Yeah. They walk in right now, them Knicks kids. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ain't yeah. no denying them. So I get that. So juvenile for three years. So what was high school like? If you was in juvie for three. I ain't make it. At all. I got shot. Well, I made it to ninth grade, but it was an alternative school. It was a hound. But um, I ain't make it. I got shot leaving the eighth to go to the ninth grade. I think I did like a couple days in ninth grade, and I got shot in ninth grade. Mm. And then I ain't see you. I, I went to school in juvenile. So you don't even know nothing about high school life, regular high school life? Nope. I wish I did. Shit. Sometimes I be, Man. now I be wish I can go back to school. School lit. Yeah, it's boring being a grown up. <laughs> Rich, I ain't Rich. mad. So you didn't get a chance to experience no sports. So if you was in high school, what I, sport? I, I, no, no, no. I, I did recreation. I did recreation. Okay, did well, I'm saying like it's different when you're on a high school level. Like you know what yeah. I'm saying when you yeah. actually playing against your your rivals that that rivals yeah. over there. You know what I'm saying? Them schools over there and saying bragging rights. I we whoop your ass. Yeah. What I sport? Ain't. I played football and okay. baseball, but baseball I was good at. But football I, I played the most, but. I played recreation and I played middle school. I played quarterback in middle school. Okay, that hard. But I, I ain't get to see that high school. Cause high school more like more grown. Like these folks is out mm. at your games. Right. Middle school, they just they coming, but high school, them folks lit. Coming, coming. Like they having a party after the after the game. I ain't get to see none of that though. Damn. I wish I could. Man, I ain't mad. I mean you you living a good life now. So look, tell me about your relationship with, with 21. Like how did y'all meet? Like how did that whole situation happen? Uh, on the block, I was, I think I was like, on, on Glenwood, I was like, nah, he was like 12. So y'all like jits, like young, young cats. Yeah, he probably like around 12, I was probably nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, to be real on him. Tell me, come on. Man. I want the this, juice, man. He go back, like, from Black Mark days. And we, we had a crew called Black Mark, and, um. We had like young and then the middle older kids and then the older older kids, and we was one. Of them, we was in the younger group, mm. and they made all the young dudes get with each other type mm. shit. Like, and when we got with each other, we ain't left each other. I'm talking about sleeping from when the day we met, we 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 slept from one motherfucker house to the next motherfucker house to mm. the next motherfucker house to this day. Right now, that's why we rappers now mm. and never left each other. Wow. Down there, still sh- we still share the same big house. Man, I ain't mad. S- sleeping in the same big house right now as we speak. That's hard because a lot of people don't even know that story and just that, that come up with a lot of loyalty st- so there. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. So let me ask you a question. Are you shocked with his success? Because I ain't going to lie. You mean, bitch, keep it a bean? Man, keep it a bean. Because you're my dog. When y'all first came out, I'm like, these niggas is shooting up everybody. Grandma's no, auntie. Man, yeah, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. I remember <laughs> songs. I'll tell Savage that to his face when he hear I was like, these niggas is wild. They shooting up grandma houses. This is what the, I was rapping about. Everything. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I rough. do not. These young niggas, I don't want to meet them <laughs> nah, because they are dangerous. <laughs> no, nah, we were just rapping. Right. But we I'm still, rapping. I'm still, I get it. <laughs> but it still scared the hell out of me. I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm getting older. I don't know if I, I you know, when you get older, you don't want to tap out with yeah. the young cats. But it's like, these young niggas is wilding, tripping. Yeah. So yeah. now, it's like, I never in my mind would have thought the music I was hearing from y'all then will be the music I'm hearing from y'all now, from him featuring on J. Cole, from him dropping the jewelry off, and just the change in, in the music and rapping on samples. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I was on the people like, I don't know. I What's think them niggas got that sample shit for me. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, Savage. Them niggas got that sample shit for me. Savage, what are you saying? Good times. Yep. Offset. Yep. Stop playing. Them niggas got that sample so, shit So for are me. you shocked with the, with the, I mean, just assess down in the direction that he's going with the music? Yeah, yeah. Because I done seen... What people say, and I'm gonna keep it a bean on here. 
I done seen the part. I done been with him with the parts with the mumbling. They, hey, he's just an ABC cat in the hat ass shit. Mm-hmm. Like, man, that shit changed. That shit, something else now. That shit bang for something. Man, I don't, I don't get no shit and eat Stepping, shit up. Walking. I'm just proud of him. He just kept up, he kept up with Drake. Mm. Stop so, playing. So he, he did his thing. Man, you, hey, you talking so, about yeah, one yeah, of my yeah, favorite yeah, albums yeah. right now? Yeah, yeah. And I'm riding too. I'm proud of that boy. Yeah, yeah that, and then the, then it came from sounding like some shit that he just laying around with. Now he got deep. Yeah, talking. He talking. And people now. saluting him like yeah, yeah. J. Cole, one of the dopest <laughs> lyricists of our times. This, this new generation. Up with it. And up with it. Come on now, stop playing. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get up there. Man, come on, you gonna get up there. I'm trying to get you up. You serious, man? So look, so there. so you ready for a therapy session? Have you ever been to therapy? You know, black men need therapy sometimes. I need therapy. You need therapy? For sure. Well, this is not really therapy because I'm not really licensed, but uh, <laughs> I call this the uh, free code therapy session. Oh, shit. Okay. So I just got a few questions that you have to explain, Mr. Mr. Hurl. Mm-hmm. Um, Magic got them nasty bitches. Man. Okay. What? I didn't mean nasty, ma- like these bitches don't take baths. Okay. Man. I mean by... Freaky. They freaky. They ready to rip your balls off okay type. Magic City I can get my balls ripped off at Magic for City for sure okay that's a check I love Magic okay man, one of my favorite clubs okay now, they got the best food in Atlanta too okay what you eating at Magic City um the steak and rice what steak and rice shit lamb chops okay that probably yeah uh, okay the steak and rice busting though okay now Allure they have classy bitches what's they, so classy about these girls at Allure I think they get most most. I don't want them to beat me up by saying this, but it's, I think it's this is what true. They get out of out of town, the girls, and most out of. I'm not saying Atlanta girls ain't pretty, but it's most most of them females not from Atlanta, but them folks. They looking like some all way around the place, and mm. them folks is cute. <laughs> Yeah, that boy said cute. Looking like some I, different shit. I got to go there if you said cute. I, you know how you know Atlanta yeah, girls, them, right? You know how we talk, right? Know, there were some different girls in there. Okay. Them folk is bad. So, so I got to go to Lure. Now, now, clearly Diamond show ass and titties because I've seen you in there a couple times. That, uh, that's, them folk from our side, they ain't out. They from our hood. Right. Diamond, so, Diamond's like. So these are homegirls from the hood. East just, side. That's, the next that's door neighbor is showing ass and titties now. Man, we grow up with them bitches. <laughs> We sleep with the, with them bitches in Diamond. <laughs> we just sleep on the floor with back in the day. Come on now. Stop playing. Okay, Blaze, they burnt out. We know what's up with Blaze. <laughs> okay, we leave it at that. We know what's up with Blaze. Now, Strokers, they turned out. That's east side, Nat. Strokers. Back in the day, the reason I said that because back in the day, they okay. turned out. Because that was one of them. Like, if you was upcoming rapper and you going there and play some hot shit, the girls is getting crunk. They yeah. going crazy. For sure. Them okay. folks getting crunk. Them Showing that love. Them girls really listen to your music. Like, real, like to this day, Newt still love to go and struggle. Word, word, word. Some, yeah, word, yeah, word. Yeah, yeah. Okay. To this day. So, Wax got some ugly bitches. Mm. But you were still... Fuck them bitches. <laughs> you know, man, come on, man. You know me, man. Why? I'm, 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 I'm the ratchet lover. So at this point that you could probably like, you know, this, this is a different world we live in. You all you got to do is have a little drip. You ain't you just going to walk in the building and pull a bad one now. You know what I'm saying? This is the world we live Facts. in. Facts. But you would still go to Wax and fuck these ugly bitches. I mean, they got some cute ones at Wax, too. I've been there. I ain't been there in a minute, though. Okay. But the time that I was going in there, you know what's going on. Right? <laughs> yeah, if I got some money, I'll be Come on now. I, I do now. I, if I, I got some money, I'll be I, I ain't going to tell on myself that. No, I, 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 I seen around. I'm like, why did these little girls walk around with this little purse? <laughs> and then I looked at one of them little purses. She has money, money uh, uh, washcloths and and wet napkins and stuff. I'm like, wait a minute, I've never seen this before. I'm just gonna mind my business. That's what I'm gonna do right here. You know what I'm saying? So you still uh, you like ratchet? What's what's up with you and ratchets, man? I don't know. I, and what's the classification of a ratchet? Let me get, give me that. Sla- she a gorilla. Okay. Slash the ties. Throw bricks to the car. I like all that shit. Why? Toxic. Why? Toxic. Why would you want to be so toxic, bro? I don't know. I like that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch choked me. <laughs> okay, well, this is a therapy session. We have, we clearly you need a couple more sessions. Um, We'll sit down and talk a little later. Tell me about this new single out right now, though. Ain't no night. It's Future My Brother. And um, we were just in the studio vibe. Not, you know what? Nah, we rock.